Hey there, how's it going? This is Lorena Arguelles once again, aka Lorena Precious. As you know me for my previous introduction, a humanitarian for victims, an advocate, a missionary for God, an ambassador for Christ, and the founder of a nonprofit organization called Love and Smiles, Amor y Sonrisas. Today, the message that I'm going to be sharing with you out of re Divine Revelation, straight out of the Bible. Um, it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and it goes a little something like this. This is out of the New International Version NIV. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. We're talking about resurrection power, okay? So, the title and the subject for my message is where O oh, death is your victory uh, many of us perhaps will be going through situations in which they seem dead not alive many people perhaps may be suffering from crippling deadly situations perhaps a medical diagnosis and i really pray that this word you take it to the heart and go over it and read it for yourself let your precious your precious hands and fingers Go to this specific passage of the Bible and decree and declare in faith because that that situation will be gone, will be banished. That debt situation will certainly become alive. So here we go. Where, O death, is your victory? That is the title once again out of 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And I start in verse 20. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. But each in turn, Christ, the first fruits, then when he comes to those who belong to him, I, I die daily, just as surely as I boast about you in Christ our Lord Jesus. There, is, there are also heavenly bodies and there are earthly bodies, but the splendor, meaning the glory, of the heavenly bodies of, is one kind. And the splendor of the earthly body, it's another. So will it be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is so incorruptible, meaning perishable. It is raised incorruptible, meaning imperishable. So in dishonored, raised in glory. So in weakness, raised in power. So a natural body and raised a spiritual body if there is a natural body then there is also a spiritual body so children of the most high it is written the first man adam became a living soul the last adam was made a life giving spirit the first man was of dust of the earth the second man is from heaven. And just as we have borne the image of the earthly men, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly men. Saints, I declare unto you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the corruptible, meaning perishable, inherit the incorruptible. For the corruptible must be clothed itself with the incorruptible, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that it is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Once again, saints, verse 54. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 15. Death has been swallowed up in victory. 
55. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your grave? The grave of death is sin. And the strength, meaning the power of sin, is the law. But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord and Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Redeemer, the Savior of the world, the only one to have ever died for your sins and mine, the only one to have ever, ever nailed in the cross of Calvary every torture, every setback, every deceit, trap, witchcraft, inflictions, oppressions, viruses, illnesses, everything that many and all of us humans could possibly be facing. And I tell you that it's been nailed in the cross of Calvary. You know, I want to make an invitation just as I accepted Lord Jesus Christ into my life not so long ago. Everything got completely, completely transformed. You look at me and I don't really, I don't really think that you have any type of knowledge as to the depths of all that it is I've carried, I've suffered, I've experienced, and I continue to, and I've been patiently waiting on God for the past seven years. But this smile, this joy, this happiness, happiness, contentment, fulfillment can only be found in Christ. There's no one else to have ever fulfilled thousands of ancient promises except our Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMashiach is his name in Hebrew Jesus Christ of Nazareth and in this particular message I want to make an invitation to you to open up your heart open up your heart invite him in and it's very simple it is a very simple prayer and I can lead you in prayer if you only repeat these words just know that your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Because one day we will be facing before the, the judgment throne in Judgment Day. But that day can be a very faithful day for you. And you can be allowed into God's presence if your name is written. According to Holy Scripture, if, if your name is not written, this is even in Revelation chapter 20, verse 15, where if, you're, if your name is not written, every name and whosoever is not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life will be cast into the lake of fire. Saints, children of God, because not all of us have the privilege to call ourselves the children of God. In the left hand, allow me to explain to you, it's God's creation. Every one of us, just as the planet, the orbits, the moon, the stars, everything is the ocean and earth. Everything is the creation. A cat, an ant, a flea, all of us, Muslim, Jewish, Christian, Catholic, it doesn't matter. God doesn't even have any religion. He never came to this earth claiming he was from a certain type of religion. But every person, regardless of religions, whether a Muslim, a Jew, a Christian, an atheist, an agnostic. Every person is the creation of God. But God says in his holy scripture, in my right hand, I have those who can call themselves the children of God, my children. And not everyone can call themselves a child of God, according to holy scripture. And he says, his children are in his right hand. Saints, I want to make an invitation to you to open up your heart and just say a simple prayer. Just if you believe in the Holy Scriptures, just say and repeat after me, Lord Jesus, this day, come into my life. I give you and surrender all that I am. Lord God, I recognize this day that I'm a sinner. But this day, I repent of every sins and offense committed against you. I stand right here 
as well interceding for my ancestors. And I pray that every sin in my bloodline gets wiped out. Forgive me, Lord. I repent. Come into my life. Lord Jesus, teach me the way, the road. Transform me that I could give you glory. Lord Jesus, thank you for forgiveness of my sins. Help me to be righteous. Help me to be pleasing unto you. Jesus, I need you. Be my Lord and Savior. This day, I detach myself from all sin. I disconnect myself and I put the old person to die so that I would be renewed in all that I am in you, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, from this day forward, I thank you that you are my Lord and Savior. This day I renounce, I repent, I detach myself from all wickedness, evil, and wrongdoing. Help me to be pure, holy, consecrated, to give you the glory. In the precious name of our Father, Yahweh, the Son, our precious Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. In the Holy Spirit, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the precious Holy Spirit, remain highly blessed. Ciao. See you soon. Amor y sonrisas.